Hi there and welcome to Sports Day. It's been a dramatic evening. I'm Ashley House. S is for Sunday. It's for Scottish glory. It's for safety or survival in the English Premier League. It's for shattered dreams, maybe, for somebody. It's also for Nigel Seeley, who's sitting to my left uh, and keep us up to date with what's going on in the betting markets today. And I couldn't think of any S's to describe Graham Roberts. <laughs> other than a superstar, maybe. How about that? That's Graham Roberts is it. <laughs> Later on this evening, all eyes in the rugby world will be focused on the encounter between England and the Springboks in Paris. But before that, attention is centering on South Africa's premier domestic competition, the Curry Cup. Fabio Capello goes with a very attacking lineup tonight as the fans expect a victory to keep the pressure on the other teams at the top of the table. I hope you had a Merry Christmas because Real Madrid's basketball team certainly didn't. It was the first two defeats at the end of the year for Joan Plath's men, but not to worry, everything's back on track. Ha detto che Real Madrid è il club più importante nel mondo e ha parlato del spirito e della maglietta bianca. Che vuole dire? Voglio dire che questo è un club che ha vinto più di tutti nel mondo, quindi è più importante. Winter Olympic action now and the gold rush continues. 12 medals up for grabs on day 10 in the ice dancing, team large hill ski jumping and the men's and women's cross country team sprint. There were some big stories on day 9 though, including a grudge match on the ice and an Olympic title that's been a long time coming for one of skiing's most popular characters. Well, let's get more now from our reporter in house, Simon Clark. Simon, uh, thanks for joining us. Was there an impression maybe that he was just protesting a little bit too much, Phil Brown? Nigel Spatman, John Gregory and Nigel Seeley here in the studio with me, keeping an eye on everything that's going on today. At the moment, though, uh, the big one in the English Premier League is Middlesbrough and Manchester United at the Riverside. Before we go to that, though, let me tell you about that second goal uh, at Aberdeen. And it's Celtic who have got it as well. Celtic now lead 2-1. It'll put them four points clear at the top of the SBL, of course. Es una semana decisiva también para los de Joan Plata. Están a una victoria de clasificarse para las semifinales. Since making his debut against Levante in August, the number 17 scored 16 times, 10 in the league, twice in the cup and four in Europe. But as he told us earlier, he's not relaxing just yet. Our one headline for this evening, which is from The Guardian tomorrow morning, the FA will be handed the keys to the new Wembley. I, for one, am actually a little bit sad that, that we won't be seeing any more of the big games at the Millennium Stadium. I love it there. But, guys, this has been such a long time waiting. Tell that to the Arsenal and Chelsea fans <laughs> who took yeah. about seven hours to get there. Sam, 61-10, a real thrashing for the All Blacks. Do you think it was a New Zealand performance that merited that scoreline? How many players in Capello's starting eleven at the moment would make, if you like, a world eleven? How many players actually do we have who are world-class, who would make Chelsea's team, Man United's team, into Milan's team? Yeah, that's a good question, isn't it? Match day 32 saw two of the founding members of the Spanish Football League come face-to-face -face as Real Madrid took on Athletic Bilbao. Neither side has ever dropped out of Spanish football's top flight. And in this match, they renewed a rivalry that goes back 104 years to when the Basque Lions beat the Whites 3-2 in the 1903 Copa del Rey final. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Uh, sorry, there's too much going on. I'm trying, trying to keep my eye on the whole lot, I promise. Uh, yeah, Notts County, 2-1 up then in Adams Park against Wickham. I think I've lost my money. <laughs> you think you've lost your money? That's what really matters, isn't it? Let's be honest. Yeah. There's the added factor between these two of the friendship that they've had beforehand. As a former player yourself, is that something that has a big impact on the match or does it stay in the locker room when you walk out? Yeah, I can't really tell you from personal experience because I didn't have a lot of mates when I was playing. and it's Things still... never get any better either today. Exactly. No? One all it is then between Sunderland and Chelsea. It's one all as well between Middlesbrough and West Ham. At the moment, it's Hull and Newcastle who are both losing. Newcastle will be down. Let's go to the final of the Indian Premier League again in Johannesburg. The Deccan Chargers against the Royal Challengers Bangalore. That's all we sport for now. More on that whole story later, I'm sure. Thanks, Thanks Ashley. The atmosphere here in the dressing rooms, of course, is one of celebration. And why not? Joan Plath's first trophy as head coach. And Real Madrid are the kings of Europe.